Vanity Fair has the first look at the Fallout TV series, and it looks freaking amazing. I've been really excited about this. Um, I know that uh, we have a lot of community members who are big into the Fallout universe, and I like the team behind this. They're the same people who did Westworld. I really enjoyed Westworld. Um, this is looking like it's shaping up to be something truly spectacular. Um, so there is going to be a link in the description of this video. You can go check out things and read through this in greater detail if you want. But yeah, uh, it was published uh, this morning over at Vanity Fair, so full credit to all the people over here who have worked on putting this article together. This is Ella Purnell um, emerging from her underground vault in Fallout, courtesy of Prime Video. It says, Fallout often looks like the distant past, um, but in the new series debuting on Amazon's Prime Video on April 12th, mark the date, everybody, April 12th, nuclear war breaks out across Earth in the year 2077, and in the words of Ron Perlman, which have gone down in classic Fallout history. War. War never changes. Oh, man, it's going to be good. Um, this is going to be a, an era of abiding nostalgia of the 1940s. Everything uh, from the clothes to the entertainment to the vehicles mimic the look of that bygone era, albeit with a sci-fi tilt. Um, dun, 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 dun. Mass Extinction is the starting point for Fallout, which is developed by the Westworld creators and husband and wife duo Jonathan Nolan and Lisa Joy. After the initial incendiary mushroom clowns, the story flashes for 219 years, and we now are going to take a look at how humanity fared over those two centuries. We got Lucy, played by Ella Purnell, has no clue. She's lived her whole life inside of a vault. So, also, I love the um, parallels. If you haven't been watching Silo on Apple TV, you really need to go watch that show in the interim. Season one's already done and gone. There's their um, recording of recording. They're filming season two right now. So, I would suggest if you haven't watched Silo yet, go watch Silo while you're waiting for the first season of Fallout to drop because there are some similarities there with people living in a silo tube um, underground without any clue of what's going on outside. Um, it says here, when a crisis forces Lucy to venture above on a rescue mission, she finds that the planet remains a hellscape, crawling with giant insects, mutant animal abominations, and a human population of sun-baked miscreants. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. Uh, Nolan tells Vanity Fair that the games are about the culture of division and haves and have-nots that unfortunately have only gotten more and more acute in this country and around the world over the last decades. It says here, Lucy is nice but not naive. Um, and it says here, the human beings fortunate enough to ride out the apocalypse in underground communities only had that option available because they had money. Uh, forcing doe-eyed... Oh, it says she's nice, but she is naive. I read that incorrectly. Um, it says it's a Darwinian remnant of civilization that opens the door for Fallout to engage in social satire as well as action and adventure. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Um, oh... <laughs> I gotta say, guys, that looks really amazing. That that looks really amazing. A squad of soldiers from the Brotherhood of Steel in their power armor suits coming straight at you. Oh man, oh man. I'm just looking at the pictures right now, everybody. This this looks freaking amazing. Um, it says here, Brotherhood of Steel recruits gaze upon the vertebrates hovering around an airship called the Caswinon, marveling at the rare pieces of high functioning hardware. Oh. Brotherhood of Steel. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my god. In all of its glory. Look at that. How does this not make you want to immediately jump in and watch this show? That alone has got me hyped. Just look at that. Look at that armor. Oh my god. Aaron Morton is Maximus, a new squire for a power suit knights dispatched on behalf of the Brotherhood of Steel. <laughs> Holy shit, that armor looks amazing. Oh, man. Uh, Ella Pernus Lucy enters Philly, an apparent junkyard that's actually a town of survivors and the remnants of Greater Los Angeles cobbled together the village from a scrap. Man, I'm remembering the first... Ooh, this guy has no nose. Walter Goggins! Walter Goggins is the ghoul. Guys, Walter Goggins, if you haven't... I, I'm a big fan of him. Um justified and then his his role in sons of anarchy was great but most recently i saw him in the fat man with um with with mel gibson that's a brilliant movie if you haven't watched it yet. i haven't reviewed it yet the review is coming to my channel so stay tuned for that walker goggins is awesome he's gonna do a great job as the ghoul um that's really cool 
Um, I'm not reading a ton of information here because I want everybody to go read this article at their leisure. Mostly I'm just here to, to oogle at the screenshots. That looks just gnarly, man. Good job. Um, on set, uh, Jonathan, Jonah Nolan. Um, that's a nice image. I like the gun, man. Her pit boy. Look at the pit boy on her wrist. Oh, that's so cool. Um, I'm stoked, everybody. This is going to be freaking amazing. Um, I'm going to see if there's any more details in here. There's some sense of humor weaving throughout. It says here, the vault drawers have a winking cartoon and perpetually flashes a giant smile and thumbs up sign, which we know. We know that's the vault boy iconography. Um, so, okay, cool. Nolan's fixing his mix of mythology and psychology to make up the human nature. Talking about some of the ideas that they're putting in here. Lucy being charming, plucky, and strong. And then when you see she's confronted with the reality of, hey, maybe the supposedly virtuous things you grew up with are not necessarily that virtuous. <laughs> uh, it's luxury virtue. You have your point of view because you never ran out of food, right? You guys were able to share everything because you had enough to share. And it says here, the Fallout series tracks her collision with the hard reality of other people's experiences and what happened to the people who, frankly, were left behind to die. Um, nice. Um quick commercial break everyone to celebrate and give thanks to all of these amazing people who keep me on the air full time really appreciate the support all you got to do is join as a member you get access to private videos you can also do super thanks on any upload or super chats and stickers on any live stream or premiere you see and beyond that don't forget we're multi-streaming over on twitch now so you can support over there as well thanks so much to everybody let's get back to the video at hand Todd Howard's here, says we had a lot of conversations over the style of humor, the level of violence, the style of violence. Fallout could be very dramatic and dark and post-apocalyptic, but you have to weave in a little bit of a wink. And I think they thread that needle very well on the TV show. It says the Vault Boy not only appears in the show, but the imagery even gets an origin story in the show, which doesn't get spoiled in the article. And they said that's something that their writing team came up with that's just really smart. So that's going to be really cool that we're going to get something like that. Um, fans of the games should know that everything in the series is officially part of Fallout lore, and Bethesda was careful to make sure the scripts could coexist with previous storylines from the gaming titles. Howard says, we view what's happening in the show as canon. This is very important. That's what's great. When someone else looks at your work and, and then translates it in some fashion, he admits to being envious of some of the TV shows' interpretations and ads. I sort of looked at like, ha why didn't we do that? Um, so that's really cool to know that the show is going to be canon. Oh, man. Howard talks here about having taken countless meetings over the years from producers, pitches, um, until finally got um, a pitch for this one. It says being an admirer of Interstellar um, and the movies that Nolan has worked on. When I heard he liked video games, I said to somebody, I won't say who, but I was like, if I take another meeting with the producer, I'd said, I'd like to actually talk to Jonathan Nolan. Um, I said, I want to hear that he never wants to do it before I talk to anybody else. So that led to a conversation between the two, and no one was actually interested. He and Joy then acquired the rights um, and set about, in, set about inventing their characters. Um, I said, Bethesda, Howard says he and Bethesda were then sold when they proposed building an entirely new story within the existing canon. Oh, God, this, this image just looks so damn good. Oh, so cool says, Lucy's journey is going to interact with two other lead characters. One of them is a wannabe soldier, Maximus, up above. And who he was raised in a cloistered family of sorts, but in this case, the Brotherhood of Steel. Okay, what about the third character? That's going to be... Uh, I'm not sure who else here. We've also got Kyle MacLachlan as Lucy's father, who's the overseer of Vault 33. Homeland, Sarita Ch um, Chudery. It's a different kind of leader. Moises Arias. There's Lucy's brother, Michael Emerson. Um, oh, oh, Michael Emerson's back. I remember him for both Persons of Interest and Lost. Um, so he was Benjamin on Lost, and he was the the, the guy behind the scenes uh, on Persons of Interest. Stays above ground this time, playing an enigmatic researcher named Wilzig. Oh, it says most of the parties are chasing an artifact that has the potential to radically change the power dynamic. So that's going to be sort of like the overall arc. Third lead figure is the sinister bounty hunter knows as the ghoul, played by Walter Goggins. <laughs> oh, baby. And he's been alive for hundreds of years. Yeah, Walter Goggins is really good. Um, dude, he's really good um, at um, 
Walton Goggins is really good at dark humor, man. He's going to pull this off. Um, I can't wait, guys. I'm super excited. Hopefully you're excited. It said April 12th is when this is coming to uh, Amazon Prime. So uh, hopefully you're ready. I'm ready. It's going to be a good show. I'm super stoked, guys. Can't wait to sink my teeth in. Like, subscribe, hit the bell icon so you never miss an update as we continue to cover this and other things nerd and gaming here on the channel. Daily streams at 5.30 a.m. and 8 p.m. Central. Uh, we do multi-streaming on YouTube and Twitch. Check out the Discord, all the other playlists, and we'll see you next time. Until then, stay safe and happy gaming.